And in Asia, the major indices there closed mixed today as investors digested earnings reports and uh, President Donald Trump's tour of the region got underway. Japan's Nikkei 225 finished the session just 0.04% above the flat line after markets reopened for trade following a week-long weekend. Uh, minutes from the Bank of Japan released today showed most policymakers thought the central bank should keep its current policy guidelines across the Korean streets. The Kospi came under pressure. The index declined 0.33%. The Australian index shed 0.1%. Hong Kong's Hansen index was 0.22% lower. Mainland markets fared slightly better and closed above the flat line. The Shanghai Composite ended the session up 0.52%, and the Shenzhen Composite reversed early losses to close up 1.18%. And to other market news, UK Aldemore Group and South African lender First Rand have agreed on a £1.1 billion, that's about $1.31 billion takeover of the British bank. The 313 pence offer represents a 22.3% premium to Aldemore's closing share price of 245 pence on October 12, the day before the companies announced they were in talks. Aldemore is among a group of challenger banks that emerged after the financial crisis to fill a gap in small business lending and capitalize on problems at bigger lenders such as Royal Bank of Scotland and Leeds. Aldemore also reported higher nine-month new lending at £2.4 billion, citing strong demand for small and medium-sized businesses, homeowners and landlords. JP Morgan, RBC Capital Markets and Lazard are advising the British company. And Chadian government officials are expected to meet Glencore executives in Paris today to discuss restructuring the country's debt. Chad has been trying to renegotiate its hefty external commercial debt to Glencore, which eats up nearly all of its oil profits, uh, the country's main source of revenue. Chad has been on a collision course with its top creditor as it wants to divert oil from the Swiss trading house to U.S. energy company ExxonMobil from the new year amid the dispute over the debt restructuring. Chad wants to hand over crude oil marketing rights currently held by Glencore under a $1.4 billion loan agreement to Exxon, the biggest oil producer in the Central African country. Hit by drought, a refugee crisis, and a costly military campaign against Islamist militant group Boko Haram, Chad has had loans from the IMF, World Bank, and African Development Bank, with another $12.9 billion of pledged funding as of September from public and private donors for a 2017-2021 development plan. Algeria's state energy firm Sonotrack has started a $2 billion of new investment into the Hassi Rumel gas field to keep production stable at the country's biggest gas field. The objective is to maintain the 190 million cubic meter output for the next 10 years. Hassi Rumel gas field represents 60% of Algeria's total gas output. It produces between 190 and 210 million cubic meters per day. But Sonotrack needed to invest into the field's compression facilities to maintain output. OPEC member Algeria has been hit hard by the slump in world oil prices and has struggled to attract energy investment to help develop new fields and increase existing production. Alumni Chief Executive Ben Magara says the company's underlying operations were performing well as the share price extended steep losses. Mr. Magara was speaking at a ceremony to unveil new health and road projects. It was funded near its mines west of Johannesburg. Lumen shares plunged 30% on Friday after the company delayed its annual financial results because it could not yet give a specific figure for the impact of an ongoing business review. Lumen's Johannesburg listed shares extended losses today, falling 7.1% to 13 rand.